Greetings my friends. This is a map of the beautiful Caspian Sea. The Caspian Sea is the world's largest inland body of water, often described as the world's largest lake or a full-fledged sea. An Endoric Basin, it lies between Europe and Asia. East of the Caucasus, west of the broad steppe of Central Asia, south of the fertile plains of southern Russia in Eastern Europe, and north of the mountainous Iranian plateau of Western Asia. It covers 143,550 square miles, excluding the highly saline lagoon of Garabogaskal to its east, and a volume of 78,200 km 3. It has a salinity of approximately 1.2%, about a third of the salinity of average seawater. It is bounded by Kazakhstan to the northeast, Russia to the northwest, Azerbaijan to the southwest, Iran to the south, and Turkmenistan to the southeast. The sea stretches nearly 1,200 km from north to south, with an average width of 320 km. Its gross coverage is 386,400 km2 and the surface is about 27 meters below sea level. Its main freshwater inflow, Europe's longest river, the Volga, enters at the shallow north end. Two deep basins form its central and southern zones. These lead to horizontal differences in temperature, salinity, and ecology. The seabed in the south reaches 1,023 meters below sea level, which is the second lowest natural non-oceanic depression on Earth after Lake Baikal. Written accounts from the ancient inhabitants of its coast perceived the Caspian Sea as an ocean, probably because of its salinity and large size. Excuse me, please comment if you have been to the Caspian Sea. Continuing. The Caspian Sea is home to a wide range of species and is known for its caviar and oil industries. Pollution from the oil industry and dams on rivers draining into it have harmed its ecology. The Caspian Sea is the largest inland body of water in the world by area and accounts for 40-44% to of the total lacustrine waters of the world, and covers an area larger than Germany. The coastlines of the Caspian are shared by Azerbaijan, Iran, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Turkmenistan. The Caspian is divided into three distinct physical regions, the northern, middle, and southern Caspian. The northern middle boundary is the Manjishlik threshold, which runs through Chechen Island and Cape Tiab Karagan. The middle southern boundary is the Apsharan threshold, a sill of tectonic origin between the Eurasian continent and an oceanic remnant, that runs through Jaloy Island and Cape Cooley. The Garabogaskal Bay is the saline eastern inlet of the Caspian which is part of Turkmenistan and at times has been a lake in its own right due to the isthmus that cuts it off from the Caspian. Differences between the three regions are dramatic. The northern Caspian only includes the Caspian Shelf, and is very shallow. It accounts for less than 1% of the total water volume with an average depth of only 5 to 6 meters. The sea noticeably drops off towards the middle Caspian, where the average depth is 190 meters. The southern Caspian is the deepest, with oceanic depths of over 1,000 meters, greatly exceeding the depth of other regional seas, such as the Persian Gulf. The middle and southern Caspian account for 33% and 66% of the total water volume, respectively. The northern portion of the Caspian Sea typically freezes in the winter, and in the coldest winters ice forms in the south as well. Over 130 rivers provide inflow to the Caspian. The Volga River being the largest. A second tributary, the Ural River, flows in from the north, and the Kura River from the west. In the past, the Amu Darya, Oxus, of Central Asia in the east often changed course to empty into the Caspian through a now desiccated riverbed called the Uzboy River, as did the Sir Darya farther north. The Caspian has several small islands, primarily located in the north with a collective land area of roughly 2,000 km2. Adjacent to the North Caspian is the Caspian Depression. 
A low-lying region 27 meters below sea level. The Central Asian steppes stretch across the northeast coast, while the Caucasus Mountains hug the western shore. The biomes to both the north and east are characterized by cold, continental deserts. Conversely, the climate to the southwest and south are generally warm with uneven elevation due to a mix of highlands and mountain ranges. The drastic changes in climate along the Caspian have led to a great deal of biodiversity in the region. The Caspian Sea has numerous islands near the coasts, but none in the deeper parts of the sea. Ogurja Ada is the largest island. The island is 37 kilometers long, with gazelles roaming freely on it. In the North Caspian, the majority of the islands are small and uninhabited. Like the Tyaleni Archipelago. That's all. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe for the best maps and for the love of the Caspian Sea. Bye.